Anyway, as ever, to close out the show, we have our resident sports broadcaster, Aidan <laughs> McGee, and our showbiz reporter, Hayley Palmer. Welcome both. We've got to start with the... I've got to, sorry, Hayley, we've got to start with the football. On this occasion, I'll, I'll let you uh, off. Let me get my soapbox out, right? Go on. Last night, absolutely dreadful, right? Gareth Southgate... I've had to live with this all night, all need, last night. Me? No. Do you need me at this point? Yes, like <laughs> matrimonial I want, you to, I want you to respond. <laughs> Relate. He's got no idea what he's doing. We've got Pep Guardiola gets rid of Sterling to keep Phil Foden, but no... Gareth Southgate knows me, so I'm going to play Sterling and not put food on, who, in my opinion, is the best English footballer in the in the country. He, he's, no, he's no idea what he's doing, has he, Gareth Southgate? I wouldn't say he doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, he has, to, on, he has delivered off. a final and a, and a semi-final in the last few years. With the know? best group of players the country's probably ever had on a home tournament, which we should have won. Yeah, possibly. All right, calm, yeah. calm down. <laughs> I know, that's not a dig about me, was it? No, no, sorry, not, sorry, not, no, 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 not at all. Um, look, it's judged over a period of a tournament, right? So, a USA are a decent team. Don't be one of those newcomers to football, those Johnny Come Lately. I know, I know you f you're floating in and out of football and you feel like it. But <laughs> this sounds like justification yeah, of a really exactly. poor game. It was but a poor game, in my estimation. No, USA, USA are not bad, not bad side. They've got players who play for Juventus, AC Milan, Chelsea, Arsenal, Leeds, Fulham, etc. They are always going to be going to pose a problem for England last night. One thing I would say, though, is that he didn't change any of his team. I would have put Foden in as well, but he didn't change his team, which means that as soon as Greg Bahal, the USA coach, sees that lineup and thinks, oh, they're going to play the same yeah, as Monday, exactly. they've got a chance to, to plan and make, make and tailor, tailor their approach accordingly. And that, but having said that, England still had probably the best two chances. Harry Kane didn't look sharp enough. Was his ankle right? Was his foot right? I don't really know. But look, it's almost an upwards. If you go and win the World Cup, nobody remembers what you do in the group. Best stage. player on the field was Harry Maguire. That's saying something about it, isn't it? Well, Harry no, he's good. Because he, he, well. yeah, he played well. Because he played well. Yeah, he did, but he's a defender. Yeah. He shouldn't be the best player in a game against the USA. Anyway. Well, USA, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Coming in again, you're you floating you out the football. Did no, you? I watched I Was Love to Get Me Out of Here, and I'm so upset that Sean Walsh has gone home that I'm not watching it anymore. Really? No, I boy George has done. There's only two days to go, my, isn't there? It's, it's, it's <laughs> tomorrow, but all my favourites have gone. All the ones with personality have gone. Really? I'm not having it. I'm not happy about that bit. We're both not happy there. Well, Matt still in. How? What so did I tell you? What did Esther I tell you? said all along. Didn't you? <laughs> we'll have to play that back. Yeah. So who uh, is he? He's not going to win, is he? I hope not. Who do you think could win? I think it's going to be Jill, the football player. Yeah. That's well, who I'm going with. She seems a nice person. Well, no. Not only is she a nice person. I agree with that. That very first trial yeah. where you did the plank walk i have to say she was extraordinary at that she just strove to the top of the plank however many hundreds and hundreds of feet she was up in the air jumped off the plank no and i don't think we saw enough of her doing uh, the bush tucker trials because matt did steal the show because most of the nation but were he's wanting to down see him. now he's hardly doing anything but you're right about jill she's got that athlete mindset yeah. i think that's yeah, what about so how long has he got to, what, what's he got to do to win now how long how long to go they're doing the cycling oh, tonight and i'm right. living for that what and then it'll get voted that's out it. tonight no, is no, it no, 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 just one more tonight. One more tonight. OK, Phil knows. Yeah. He's a showbiz reporter. He knows more about I'm a celeb than he does about the USA football team. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. He's hot on his heart. Um, but I think... Uh, do you don't think there's any... I, I, I just thought he might, he might win. Well, let's hope not. I think it'll be Jill. Not my words. OK, we heard, you heard it here. Heard it here first. Yeah, we see, should, we, we love should, football. We should mention, though, on the football. We should mention Wales, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. I mean, they, they were pretty dire as well, weren't they? Yeah, they were, but I just thought they panicked a bit. They thought everything's got to be based on beating Iran, otherwise we've got no chance. So they went for it, and they looked really flustered towards the end. The goalkeeper, Wayne Hennessy, comes out and just produces this foul on his opponent, which I just think was totally unnecessary. He almost, like, disembowels his opponent. And he gets... Originally, it's a booking, then he gets sent off. Yeah. And it puts him on the back foot. They're it's on, they're it's on... difficult without a goalie, really, isn't well, it? No, 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 they weren't allowed to bring another one on. They were allowed to be another one, but they lost. They lost. A, they lost a player. But however, they then, they then conceded two goals. If they just that was a lack of experience, just pull things in, rein things in a little bit, tighten things up, take the point. Going to England into the England game on Tuesday with two points and unbeaten under your belt. Now it looks very difficult for them. However, it's not impossible. Every team in that group now, the group of death as we're calling it, could still go through on Tuesday. So it's all intriguingly poisonous. We like it here on GB News. It's going to be massive, isn't it, when England play Wales? Uh, yeah, it will be big now, especially as Wales has got something to play for. Bigger, it. bigger now than ever. Yeah, no, indeed. Hayley, what else is happening apart from I'm a celebrity? Well, David Williams has left Britain's Got Talent. I don't know if you saw the reports a couple of weeks ago, but apparently he had said not very nice comments about the contestants. And I thought, oh, probably he was just saying it in a funny way, but when I read what he had said, it was, like, awful comments. But he was only saying them privately, wasn't he? I mean... Well, he was saying it and he had his microphone still on, so I don't know if that got leaked out. Um, but it was totally not acceptable, and he has stood down. I don't think he had a choice. But apparently, Oti from Strictly 
is meant to be replacing him. Have you heard that? No. That's because I'm a good yeah, shaver's reporter. I've got all the dossiers. <laughs> and there's also other uh, strictly news, isn't there? Isn't... There is. Bruno is returning for the Christmas special, but apparently he's not actually dancing, he's singing. Who's singing? Who? Yeah, yeah, I know. On a, on, a, it's on a dancing show. On a dancing yeah. show. So, yes, he's returning. He left Strictly because uh, he had too much commitments in the US. There he is. Uh, and he got replaced by Anton Debeck. But I love Anton Debeck. I think he's a great judge. Um, but, yeah, check out the Christmas special of Strictly this year. Will you be doing that? Uh, well, I'm more likely to be watching it than doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you never know. Uh, All I can say. Thank goodness. <laughs> Now, I've got a diff my own little football question here. Oh. As I see two, I'd call it the sort of biggest football clubs with the biggest mm. base of supporters. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool, Manchester United. Why are they both up for sale? What's that saying? Well, it's two, two, well it doesn't really say anything about the clubs necessarily, apart from they're extremely valuable. First of all, the, the, the reason they're up for sale is because the cost of borrowing has gone up so much. I think Liverpool alone borrowed £487 million. The cost of servicing that debt was quite manageable, and now it's just shot off into the stratosphere. It's becoming a lot more expensive, not just to fund the club on a subsistence basis, but also invest it and take it where they want to go. I also think that United, in their, in, in their instance particularly, were, were had their ears pricked earlier in the year when Chelsea went for four billion pounds because if Chelsea's worth four billion pounds, you can take it as read that both Liverpool and Manchester. So it is about making money, enough. selling out, yeah, making everything, money. Everything is in life. I, I don't understand why the Glazers are not so. so <laughs> it's not about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> why, why are the Glazers so unpopular? I mean, this, this, from what I can see, they've spent fortunes in the transfer market, just as much as anybody else would. But they've, 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 they've plunged. They've effectively plunged. Well, no, they're not. They're not spending that much compared to other clubs. Yeah, they, well, but, not really, no. Yeah, they, would, they would have said it was completely debt free as a business, and then they loaded it yeah, up. Now and that's what people were upset about. And then other people yes. saw British that's football the only clubs club. as exactly the that's same That's the thing. only club, because it's so valuable. That's the only club you could have, yeah. bought, you could have achieved that kind and of buyout. They did it as leverage for all their, yeah, for all their future profits. businesses. Oh, yeah, a sports reporter. Well, I, I'm, I'm interested <laughs> I'm in now the show reporter. I'm now the sports reporter. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> I'm interested in in business and finance no, and see. money and what people were doing. Yeah. Yes, um, also in other news, um, a place in the sun. It's really sad. Um, Johnny, um, he's been diagnosed with cancer. And um, unfortunately, um, the bosses um, said that he couldn't return. I have read that is for insurance purposes that he couldn't return. But I was actually watching the interview earlier today and it was so upsetting to watch it because he said not only has he had that awful news, he's also, you know, hasn't got a purpose anymore. Someone's taken his job. He had to sit there and watch someone take his job on TV. It seems quite, it seems quite heartless on the face of it, doesn't it? But if What's you watch the interviews with him, it is so upsetting. He told you only got six months to live, so um, I find that a really touching story. I'm, I'm quite sure they could have, should have actually said, what can we do? A documentary together, you on your life, where you're going, yeah. maybe a place not in the sun, i.e. in the UK. So you haven't got maybe the insurance things, but they should yeah. be doing something. And I think the outpouring from the public yeah. about how badly you've treated a member of your staff uh, should be a wake-up call for them. Yeah, absolutely. I just think it is quite shocking behaviour because not only has he got to deal with that, I mean, he said his mental health just went down the drain. When he got told that news, he said his friend literally had to hold his hand to walk home because he was so distraught and how he had to break that to his um, wife mm. and he's got three children yeah. so you're right there, there should be some kind of support i feel you know it doesn't matter who you are i mean imagine yeah. how that would feel for anyone so um i thought that was very shocking to read and i hope he does get more support yeah mm, very sad indeed so come on aiden who's going to win the world cup now you've seen all the teams play now so who's you know well you know, i'm going to yeah. say my smart money and i've got i got brazil in the sweeps though so I'm happy, I'm happy with it. I think they've got an awesome squad. Don't get me wrong, I think England can do it as well. They can do some real damage in this tournament. There's a long, 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 long way to go, but Brazil are probably the strongest I've seen. Also, the strongest teams, they're the ones who played the hardest opponents. They beat Serbia 2-0. So that won't be the answer. Yeah. Well, I've, got, I've got the sweet <laughs> I've got the sweet mistake. Yes, that's oh, uh, yeah. oh, I'll leave it to Phil and his expert uh, knowledge uh, of the uh, USA football you've, team. You've, you've, even, you've, you've taken over as a sports reporter. You've even been telling bad jokes as well. Yes. <laughs> you've totally hey, you won't jokes. be here next week. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Don't I'll say, I'll say totally cheerio to everyone. Totally well. You'll be here next week. Yeah, but not, not the week after, necessarily. Hayley, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be here next week as well. Thank, thank you both very much indeed. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, what a fab, fun show it's been. And we'll be back next week on Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. So uh, do join us. But don't go anywhere, because up next is Alistair Stewart and Friends. We 
are GB News, the People's Channel. And right across the United Kingdom. You can find us on Sky Channel 512. Virgin Media Channel 604. Freesat Channel 216. Freeview Channel 236. And UView Channel 236. You can also take us with you on DAB Plus Radio. With the GB News app and at the website gbnews.uk. We're absolutely everywhere. Come join us on GB News, the People's Channel, Britain's news channel. Join me every Sunday at 6 p.m. for Gloria Meets. In exclusive interviews, I'll be finding out who our politicians really are and what they really think. I think I've seen probably quite enough of Matt Hancock to last me a lifetime. I'll also be getting to know you better, travelling, to find out what you think about the politicians who are fighting for your vote. They've got to get this country back on track. Join me every Sunday at 6 p.m. only on GB News, on TV, radio and online.